Hello everyone, back again. Sorry it's been a while, but today I'm making a video on trying to fix the dash rattle in the 350Z. Right here and right here, I get the loudest rattle when I drive and it's just, it's just horrible. And I really don't like it, it's really bothering me and it's making a bad driving experience. But today, I'm going to try to fix that problem, finally, because I've had this rattle forever now. And it just gets, keeps getting worse and worse and now it's bugging me, so let's get into tearing this car apart. Alright guys, so I have quite a bit of it ripped out. Just ripped this part out. Got all this. The gauges. Oh, you can't see. I apologize, guys. Got the gauges ripped out and the harness detached. Now, just next step, I gotta get this thing off to get to the clips at the top of these three gauges. So, let's get into this. Alright guys, pretty much everything's out. All I have is one more clip behind here. So I'm just about to pull this off. It wasn't too bad. Getting this, these parts off of that, it was really hard. It took a long time to get these stupid clips because you just feel like you're going to break them. But all should be good now. And I'm about to take this off. So we're looking good. Alright, here we go. Got the gauges pulled out. And uh, yeah, so pretty sure this is what's vibrating up here. Or something along these lines, one of these clips. I can't figure it out yet, but this is barely staying here, and I gotta get to this before it all falls, so I'm gonna get into this really quick. I'm gonna try to put some duct tape around the clips because I feel like the plastic is what's vibrating, so we can go from there. Okay, everyone, I got the piece of duct tape on the plastic part up there, and now I'm gonna put this all back together. Go on a test drive and hope for the best, but there is another rattle over here, but it's not nearly as bad as this one. I don't know what I'm going to do about this one. Maybe if this one stops and it doesn't bug me as much, I won't worry about this one as much, but we'll get to that point. I just want to fix this main first rattle and then put this all back together and go on a test drive and I'll let you know. Alright. Alright guys, it's all put back together. So, that's good. Now for the test drive to see if it works. All right, everything's working, so that's good. That works. That works. Sweet! It's all put back together. Sorry, I just hit the camera. All right, it's all put back together, so let's hope this works. Usually, oh. Uh, I could still hear it, but it's very light. It would be rattling a lot right now. Oh wait, I don't need to go this way. It's still there, son of a... It's not that bad though. I don't know what that is. Here's a test. I don't know what that was, but it didn't sound good. Okay, it's not nearly as bad as I thought it would be, guys. Alright guys, so here's where I'm at. Sorry for the bad sun. So here's where I'm at. So the rattle did not go away. I can't tell if it got a little better or not I'm not quite sure but it's not it's not good and I don't know what to do because when I tape those parts I was in here looking at every single thing that could have been making noise and I still couldn't figure it out I couldn't tell if this is what was rattling or this I just couldn't figure it out but all right guys so hands down the worst thing about this car is the rattling and if you look at reviews of 350s, and I ask people that are in my car group, which is what that sticker is right there, routing is a really big common issue with the 350Z. And the 370Z Nissan really tried to make the rattling a lot better. They didn't want to make the rattling so bad like it is in a 350, because I swear everything rattles in here. I've already fixed three rattles just since I've owned it in the last year, and I've only put 5,000 miles on it. Only I have fixed three rattles already and I have two more that I just can't figure out and well one I can figure out but I can't get to and the other one 
as this video is about. I just don't know what it is anymore. I can't figure out what that rattle is. But rattling is a huge issue with this car, and it really sucks, but I don't know, guys. It's it's partly because I lowered it. Here, let's see if you can. Probably because I lowered it and put the sound system in. Of course, that didn't help. Let's see if you can see. There's a spring, that red part. Yeah, so there's my lowering spring, but honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. This car's losing its value, and i got to make a plan for it. I love it. I really love this car, but... It's a bouncy ride, it's an automatic, and the rattles are killing me. But I guess we'll see. I'll play it by ear. Plastic, it's just plastic in the car. It's just plastic in the car. The steering wheel is leather, but it's plastic. And it's kind of what you get with plastic, but you know what? I'll figure it out for you guys. And just, just to let you know, the 350Z has rattles. And... That's just how it is. Uh, a lot of them have it. Most of them do have it, but especially when you have the higher mileage ones. But it's okay. I just want to say thank you for watching, guys. Just a quick update. Just so you know, I'm still making videos for you guys. Why? Why? Focus! Hello, everyone. This is Z Dixon. My service engine light soon. My service engine soon light is on. And that's because I was destroying all this again to fix a rattle and you won't believe it I can shut this off now uh, I actually fixed the rattle so I thought it was up in this area right here but it's actually right here as you can tell I put something right there to stop the rattle but this was making sound this was bouncing on top of a, a white clip that held this in so I got the rattle stopped for now and now when I put it all back together my ECU is screwing me up and I need to fix it and I'm going to do that but luckily the rattle is fixed at least one of them there's still another one over here but I'll see what I can do about that later but right now I gotta reset this ECU and I was gonna show a video on how to do it but I've never done it before so let's see All right, I have a chart pulled up on the, my let me turn this off on my iPad right now of how to do it touching another YouTube video you have to have a stopwatch to do it but here we go. Got it, everyone. I got it. Okay, I can turn the car off. Thank Lord. Um, I got my issue, my check engine, service engine light soon. Ugh. It's off. The rattle's gone. Car's in great shape. Um, I just got to put this back together. But thank God that worked. And I know the problem was some with the AC because when I would turn the key, the AC would automatically blast full. And then when I turn this, it would say icy up here. Icy. But now, no more. No more. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. That's all I'm supposed to be on. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're good. We're good, guys. Anyway, just wanted to let you know the rattle is gone. The rattle is gone. So, if you have rattling issues in the Nissan 350Z, coming from up in this general area, Right here, there's a clip below this plastic part that this holds itself in. And that, that clip, this is resting on top of that clip. So this is bouncing on this plastic part and making that horrible rattling that just makes you want to blow your head off. I have another rattle over here I need to figure out, but I'll get to that soon. Because if I bang on it, you can hear it over here somewhere, but I'll get to that one. Anyway, guys, just want to let you know the rattling was up there, so now you know where it's at. Um, what I did, I just stuck a little piece of wood between the two. I know it doesn't look the best, but I'll find a better solution down the road. Anyway, there you guys go. Just want to let you know because I'm sure some of the Z owners have the same rattling issue, and I'm sure it bothers the crap out of them just like me, but there's a solution, guys. This has been Z Dixon. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.